Hello everyone, this is Teacher Mel. In this video, we are going to learn how to identify the four conic sections in equation form. Paano nga ba natin ma-identify kung ang isang equation is a circle, isang hyperbola ba to, a parabola, or an ellipse? So, in this video, pag-aaralan natin kung paano natin siya ma-identify ng madali lang at maintindihan natin. Let's start with circle. For us to identify kung isang equation ay circle, dapat yung x and y niya naka-squared and then the coefficient of that ay magkapareho including the sign. Example, we have 3x squared minus 12x plus 3y squared is equal to 2. Paano ko nalaman na ito ay circle? Dapat si x and y naka-squared. Dapat magkaparehas yung coefficient nila. Magkaparehas ang coefficient nila, which is 3 and 3. Magkaparehas dapat yung sign din nila. We have positive 3 and positive 3. So, therefore, yung 3x squared minus 12x plus 3y squared is equal to 2 ay circle. Kasi, same sila naka-squared, yung x and y. Parehas din yung coefficient, including the sign. Next naman, we have ellipse. Paano natin malalaman kung isang equation ay ellipse? Dapat yung x and y niya naka-squared and the coefficient are positive but different. So sa ellipse, parehas sila squared, yung x and y. Yung coefficient niya dapat ay positive pero dapat magkaiba ng number. Okay? Magkaiba dapat na number. Example, we have a 3x squared minus 9x plus 2y squared plus 10y minus 6 is equal to 0. Ito ay example ng ellipse. Bakit? Unang-una, parehas sila may x squared and y squared. Pangalawa, parehas sa positive yung coefficient ng x squared and 2y squared. Parehas positive. And then, yung next na criteria natin ay magkaiba yung number. Magkaiba yung coefficient ng x squared and y squared. That's why, ito ay isang ellipse. Next naman ay parabola. Paano natin malalaman kung isang equation is a parabola? Okay. So, when either x or y squared, not both. Okay. Ibig sabihin, it's either si x or si y ang naka-squared. Example, we have y is equal to x squared minus 4. And we have x is equal to 2y squared minus 3y plus 10. So, yung y is equal to x squared minus 4 is a parabola. Bakit? Naka-squared si x. Okay? Yung y hindi. Pangalawang example naman, x is equal to 2y squared minus 3y plus 10. Ito din ang example ng parabola. Bakit? Si y squared naka-squared. Si x hindi. So, either. It's either of the two, pero hindi pwedeng silang dalawa naka-squared sa isang equation. Okay? It doesn't matter kung may coefficient ba yan, kung one or two or other, whatever number yung coefficient niya, is it positive or negative, hindi siya nagmamatter. Ang mahalaga is, it's either x or y ang naka-squared sa equation. Yan. So, sa first equation, we have x squared ang naka-squared. Kaya siya parabola. Yung pangalawang equation naman, si y squared naman ang naka-square. Yung x hindi. Kaya example siya ng parabola. Next is hyperbola. Paano natin malalaman kung isang, isang equation is a hyperbola? When x and y are both squared and exactly one of the coefficient is negative and exactly one of the coefficient is positive. So, dapat daw, si x and si y naka-squared. Okay? Si x and y dapat naka-squared parehas. Pero, yung, dapat yung coefficient nila magkaiba ng sign. Yung sign lang. Yung coefficient nila dapat magkaiba ng sign. Okay? So, yung coefficient ng x squared and y, magkaiba siya. Okay lang kahit magkaiba. Basta dapat ang mahalaga si x and y naka-squared and one of them is negative or positive. Ito yung requirement para ang isang equation ay maging isang hyperbola. So, if we have 4y squared and 3x squared, parehas sila naka-square, yung x and y. Check. Okay. 
magkaiba ng sign yung coefficient nila. Check. That's the requirement para maging hyperbola ang isang equation. Thank you everyone. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment. I'm happy to answer any question. Please subscribe for more math videos. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.